Hey everyone, welcome back to the AstroDevs channel. In today's video, we are going to connect a Flutter app to the Node.js server in less than 5 minutes. It's going to be quick, easy and super useful. So let's dive right in. First, let's create our Node.js server. You can do that by running these two commands. First command is for creating our Node.js package and then we install the Express framework. Now that we have installed the Express framework successfully, we can start writing our code. Create a variable for Express, then create your Express app, and then define your desired port. For this app, I would go with 3000, and then define a path for your API endpoint. Also create a response for when the API is called, and then start your server with app.listen. You can use console log here to see when the server is running. Now let's set up our Flutter project. Open your terminal and run this command. You can give any name to your application as you wish. And then we go to our project directory. From here, you can simply open your code in the VS code by running this command. Now that we have created our Flutter project successfully, we can add the HTTP package to our Flutter project. Open your popspec.yaml file and then add the following dependency. Save the file and run the command flutter pub get or you can simply click on this button so the VS code does it for you. And as you can see, the HTTP package has fetched to our project. Next, let's give it a look to our application. I would add an app bar, then a button to activate the HTTP request for the API call to reach the localhost from emulator you should use 10.0.2.2 instead of localhost. And then we print out the HTTP response in our debug console. Or you maybe want to show it in your app directly. Now let's run our Node.js server. Navigate to your server directory and run this command for your server to get it started. Our server is up and running on port 3000. Back to our Flutter project, run it on your emulator. I click the button and there's an error. Okay, I checked the code and there's just a minor error in our Node.js code. Just don't forget to type this slash before your API endpoints. I click the button and as you can see, we have our response over here. We've connected our Flutter app to the Node.js server. And there you have it, we have successfully connected our Flutter app to a Node.js server in under 5 minutes. Feel free to explore and adapt this example for your project. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching and happy coding!